Um, I went into neuroscience research really for personal reasons because a lot of extended family members in my family suffered from addiction. And when I first started learning about neuroscience, there really weren't formal programs within the neuroscience field. It was either biology or physiology. And so I really rode that wave, uh, which is quite extensive now, um, of the abundance of research that's happening in neuroscience. And it's a really exciting time in the field of neuroscience. We know so much more about the brain and about addiction in general. But I have to say, when I first started out my career, and I knew when I was at New York University and I was in the biology department, I want to study what addiction is, what underlies motivated behaviors, but motivated behaviors that go awry. I want to help solve that. The question George asked of me was, would you be able to talk about whether addiction is a disease or a moral failure. It is a brain disease. And we know a lot more about the many neurochemicals within the brain that are participate in the addiction cycle. We know that there are a number of different neural circuits that mediate different phases of addiction. The problem with many substances of abuse is that they hijack this very critical neural circuit within our brain that mediates these rewarding properties. And when the drugs hijack that circuit, they change it so that it becomes hypersensitized. And so when you see with addicts who start to demonstrate behaviors that are very inconsistent with who they are, a lot of this has to do with the change in morphology and the change in cell signaling that is happening in these different brain regions, such as the prefrontal cortex that makes, um, that controls executive function and decision making. So you need to understand that this isn't something deliberate that the individual is trying to, uh, to do, but it's something that's biological and completely biochemical. So the good news and the takeaway message that I would like to leave you with is that addiction can be treated. We are constantly making advances in this area. It can be successfully managed, but it can be treated. I have loved ones in my family that are abstinent from drug use going on 30 years now. They are my heroes for how they operate um, every day of their lives. We know so much more about, from research about how these drugs affect the brain at the molecular level. And importantly, this idea of personalized medicine. Maybe something that's working for someone, might not, the same approach might not work for another. And the field of um, addiction research needs to really take that into account as well. That maybe you know, with some failed attempts at recovery, that different approaches may need to be taken in order to achieve success.